there are some websites if you don't type the www it won't let you go there because they're like grandfathered in they're like yeah, super they're, old or yeah exactly right. um roof hi i thought you said roof sorry Roofies. No, it's on fire. <laughs> oh, there you go. The roof. Anyway, um, you still repping the Niners and hitting the gym at 3 a.m.? Mm, I'm repping the Niners. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Select a Ticket. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests today are repeat offenders on the channel. I've reviewed them numerous times, and I've uh, also had them on the channel before, which you can check out, you know, go look for their lovely mugs. <laughs> You'll see a thumbnail. They're a sci-fi rock band sent by a shadowy corporation, or underground, sorry, shadowy underground. And my review of their latest EP, Entity, is out now, so... Definitely go check that out when you're done here. Please welcome to the channel, Shadow of the Moon. Say hi, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Clinkity, clink, clink, clink. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Mm. Lovely Room 6 whiskey. All right. By the way, if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using hey, my email cool. address down in the... You, you, you good? <laughs> oh, okay. Do we have a... No, he's empty. He just downed it. Yeah. Okay, man. Go on. Way. You know where the rest is. <laughs> if you want to be on the channel, <laughs> if you want to be verbally harassed, no. If you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or bold, hit me up using my email address down in the description or click the Room 6 social media link. That's where you find all sorts of ways to support the channel as well and what I do here. And what else I'm up to? i got a couple podcasts, I'm live streaming some stuff. It's a fun little thing I do. So, I wanted to ask... How come you went with uh, Corky over at uh, Pop Cycle? Because he's awesome. Awesome. You heard awesome. It. You heard it. You heard the songs, right? Mm-hmm. That's why. <laughs> Do you know Corky? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Not yet. Oh, he's a great, great oh, guy. Yeah. Great guy. Corky, Love come him. on the channel. We'll have a talk. Shout out, Corky. Yes. Although I, I did, I thought it was interesting. He, there were a number of bands on the roster. I was like, I know that they've been, on, they're going to be on the channel or they've been on the channel. Yes. Uh, who's that, Heroin Honey? Yes, as a matter of fact, yeah, he gonna, recorded them. Yeah. Yes. By the way, heroin, honey. If you happen to be watching this, let's get it done. <laughs> Come on, make it happen. Yes. So now, two of you are dads, right? Just two of you, or uh, all three of I you? Think just no. me. Uh, just, just him. Just one. Just him. I mean, I. I th not that I know. Of. I thought you had a kid or two. Oh, no, no, no. no. So you need to tell us, Riff. No, no, like, 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 no. getting around. No, no. Ah, you slide <laughs> or, back. You. Like, well, okay, you're sort of right. So how it works is this: he has a kid. But he's like our kid, so we have to take care of him. Nice. So it's kind of like we have. Okay. No, oh, I, yeah, you're you're too, of no, I thought you were like, like your girlfriend had kids or something. I, oh, no, 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 no. We do not. I do Sorry. not. Sorry. It's no. fun digging through. It's, <laughs> digging through people's Instagram is fun because sometimes you get the wrong information. Ah. Sorry. I know what you're thinking of. Oh, that, I think that I know was what... my ex-girlfriend. Saw me hanging out with my ex-girlfriend. Me. <laughs> My question still stands. Kidding. I'm kidding. My question still stands. For the father of the group. Uh -oh. Yes. You have two kids, right? Two kids. Two beautiful little girls. How do your kids feel about dad still trying to hang on to his youth? Oh, man. Ooh. Shots fired. Well, That's a hurt. That's the younger a hurt. one. Shots fired. <laughs> she laughs at me all the time because I pay my face. Mm -hmm. And the older one... She won't be long. She'll be doing it for you. Yeah, she's uh -huh. she's she's a good artist. Right on. She's a good artist. Oh, What's up, kids? How you you doing? know what? <laughs> By the way, if you don't know who Shatter the Moon are, thank you for watching. Go ahead and introduce them yourselves and tell them who you are, what you do in the band, and what you do uh, for that shadowy underground I was just talking about. Shadowy underground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Riff. I play guitar. Hence the name. Jax. Riveting. Riveting. <laughs> I'm Jax. Interviews going great. <laughs> I sing, and I play bass, and I... You spread the message. I spread the message the of mess Gaia. And the message of the day is legs. And just there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 10 years old. Anyway, go ahead. My code name is Whiskey. I play drums. I also drive the bus when we're driving across the country late at night. You mean the shuttle bus? The... It's more like a beat-up old mini. You mean the ship? Yeah, exactly. The ship. <laughs> when he's sober enough to drive. Right. Whoa. Yeah. Don't don't drink to drive. Don't drink to drive, folks. 
Pull over. Drink. <laughs> anyway. So, hot. Yes. Did did go uh, well before we get into that? I I know you room sixers know I, I have a certain list of questions that I generally ask, and I also ask some personal deep dive questions if I can. Uh-oh. I've asked them my usual questions already, so I'm not going to rehash all that. Okay, <laughs> let's get in it. Watch the first one. Story changed, so it's okay. Yes, well, <laughs> the, the story changed. No, I'm still kidding. guys. <laughs> no, all that's not. Freddie's still busting your balls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do we have a list of words we're not allowed to talk about? We do, but uh, we've been over that. So yeah, okay, good. There's a few it's been redacted, so for her. <laughs> right. <laughs> Moon, Gaia, Shatter, anyway. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Mr. Hort. That's me. Did going to RPI influence the backstory of this band? Oh my god. That's that's a deep one. Uh, <laughs> Rensselaer Polytech! Well, are you from the East Coast? No. Oh, okay, so you looked this up. Okay, uh, so you're, you're right. It you. has been influential because when I was a young man and mm-hmm. I attended college... I learned a lot of science. Oh, you know? to 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 uh, clarify, Rensselaer Polytechnical is the America's yeah, oldest man. technical uh, you know, institution. I believe. That's correct. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I learned a lot of science while I was in school, and I promptly forgot. there were incidents. <laughs> I promptly forgot all of it. And so, college. Right, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, but uh, no, it was highly influential in the way that we approach. The message we are trying to get out to all the people in the world to nice. understand what's going on out there. And so what is that message? If you can cons- condense it to a, a sound bite, let us tell you. Jax, go ahead. <laughs> Question Nicely done. everything. Yes, that everything. And verify. Trust but verify. <laughs> see that? You see that? I didn't see nothing, man. Nothing. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Smile and wave, boys. <laughs> Smile and wave. <laughs> All right. So my other question for you, home slice. Me? No, you. Okay. Gotcha. You with the face. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you saw that. <laughs> What's your, uh, what was your favorite soccer position at RPI? Soccer position. Did like, what did I play, you mean? Yeah, you were on the soccer team. I was a, I was a fullback. Left. Yes. High five for... Fullback, best position. Score. Yes. <laughs> no, but it wasn't also... I liked being fullback, personally. Oh, I there, You had a legitimate reason to boot it every time. Yep. And you could kind of play a little rougher. That's true. Which, which was I enjoyed. Mm. Yep. So, yeah. I, I, I played eight years of soccer, and then I knew people who were going into the competitive league, and I knew that the competitive league was, was rougher, and I knew that these particular people were going to bring it. Yep. And I said, I'm done. <laughs> I don't. It's just it's, it's, Plus, I lived in the desert. Well, I, soccer in the desert is never fun. I was not in the desert, but running was turned out not to be something I wanted to keep doing. Right. right on. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, if you want to see what they're up to, check out their their mission and their their music and their merch and all that stuff. They have a website, and that website is shadowthemoonband.com. That's right. Dot com. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't want to forget a part of it, so I made sure that I'll, I'll put it on screen. We screw it up all the time because we have so many different names for things. So. Yeah, everything is like slightly named differently. You think a... with the stupidest name we picked for a band that nobody would have taken any of this stuff, but some people have, so we've had to yeah. get creative. I, I wanted to ask, <laughs> where, why, I didn't ask this last time, why Shatter the Moon? Like, oh. where, what was the, the, the thought process that led to... That's a good, cool name, and, and it ties in with the... Like, did the name come first, and then the backstory, or vice versa? Yes. Name came first, before all I this. asked in either or, and you said yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's that's how riff a, works. Yeah. <laughs> so I was agreeing with the fact that the name came first before we started getting the backstory. Right. And so essentially, like, it came up to where I think you had something that dealt with the moon. Like, Correct. And then I wanted to name it Shatter, and they're like, oh, it sounds too close to this, or this other band, and then I just... And then we we're all like, what about Shatter the Moon? And we we're like, awesome. Yes, right. And then after yes, that, it. then just wheels started turning, then we started coming up with the backstory and everything. Right. Started, like a lot a lot of take a lot of acts that you hear the name and you can kind of already know. You know, like, okay, it's gonna sound like this or whatever. Shatter the Moon is kind of ambiguous, but at the same time, it as is. soon as you hear as soon as you see you guys play or hear your music, you're like, yeah. Totally. It makes sense now. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it. Beforehand, like a lot of people will say, because like, we, it's hard to say, and you're on stage, they hear somebody. Can, can we swear? Oh, you don't. He doesn't remember this remember. at all. I was very. I put it as a camera in the front. <laughs> Big fan of the channel. Watches all of them. 
Um, I'll it, say it in the past I, I, I have a disclaimer at the front of each interview, because I'm not going to invite musicians over, offer them alcohol, uh, okay. and tell them not to I swear. I just wanted to be clear. <laughs> no, no, no. I like to be nice, but a lot of people hear it as Shat on the Moon. I was going to ask, why, why did you name it Shat? <laughs> Turn <laughs> get, the Moon. It does get mixed up a lot, because, you know, you're on stage, Shatter, and you're saying, you're, you're saying into a microphone, and it gets very muddy in, the, in a, you know, your uh, average place. The that places is, we play in. Yeah. yeah. I, always feel, I always felt, when I was front man on, on stage, trying to say the name of the band, or, you know, we got this coming up, but... And if it's, you know, busy, mm-hmm. no one can understand you. Correct. You say it real, I always felt like I was throwing it away. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, you know, hindsight is... 2020. Know, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, oh, man, maybe we should have rethought that. But it is what it is now. Here we are. Yep. Nothing we can do about it now. You know, you're, they have a whole choreographed lighting situation. Absolutely. Which mm-hmm. can cause problems sometimes. It does. I, but, it, but it's, part of, it's right. part of the process. I, I, guess. I was wondering... And it, what if you had a light up QR code as part of your lighting thing that people can be like, click, now I know what you're up to. You can just point at it and say, go there. That's a horrible idea. I yeah. don't know where <laughs> you can, That's that free. QR you can use that. Classified. Code. Classified. 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 Redacted. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we, when we, as we continue to grow and spread the message to the masses and we actually start to make some money, we can invest... Yeah. And LED screens to put that QR code up, and also some extra cool stuff we have planned for the future. Noise, money. Yeah. Uh, in in the meantime, by the way, buy a shirt. Yeah, so buy a shirt. For these things. Buy, buy a shirt, shirt please. <laughs> Question everything. Um, in the meantime, though, yes. just cheap little paper flyers with the QR code and, and brief like what what it is. Throw them around on some tables or whatever, and then whatever's left at the end of the night, you can you know recycle. But it's not a bad idea. I used to do it for, you know, when I was, like, that That was before social media really was a thing. Mm. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> QR codes back then? Get a little green. No, it was, we didn't have QR codes, just had website. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dot coms. Dot com. <laughs> I remember when we had to bring a piece of, like, a notebook or something for emails, man. Right. Anyway, yeah. you weren't there. You don't know. HTTP slash slash. I've been your age. You've never been mine. <laughs> I used to work with a guy who said that all the time. I was like, yeah, obviously, that's how chronological time works. You know how long it took me to stop typing www in front of my websites? Like I, yeah. Oh, like I, I still s- do it from time to time. There are businesses <laughs> still that use www. You don't, you don't you have, have to, to put that anymore. Uh, there are, actually, there are, <laughs> there are some websites. If you don't type the www, it won't let you go there because they're like grandfathered in. They're like uh, super they're, old or Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, roof. Hi. I thought you said roof. Sorry. Roofies. No. It's on fire. <laughs> uh, there you go. The roof. Anyway, um, you still repping the Niners and hitting the gym at three a.m.? Mm, I'm repping the Niners. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I asked for that mostly because today was the first day that this fifty-one year oh god it burns mm. this fifty-one year old started doing two a day. Uh, I haven't done two a day in a long time. Oh, yeah. I've been you're meaning doing, to get back into doing it now? I just started today. Oh, oh. Well, I, technically, I started are, on Labor Day. Yeah, those are rough. Monday, yeah, Very cardio rough. in the morning, and then, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you're, you're catching me. I'm mellow right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally a little more, uh, with with an interview. Yeah, but no, also, I know you guys. No, so. I'm going to get back on the horse. Like, me and my cousin are actually supposed to get back on the horse. Just this week has been, right. we got so many things going on. Nope. So, like, having free time just not now, the, the Niners thing, you moved here from the Bay Area? No, no, no. My, my girlfriend moved from the Bay Area. I've ah. actually just always been a Niner fan. You know, honestly, I moved. I mean, we moved here. I met my wife in in Walnut Creek. I met her in the Bay Area. Oh, okay. And we moved here from there. But I'm originally a SoCal boy, uh, and I'm so SoCal, I call it San Berdu. San Berdu. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Down the mountain, as we say. Oh, gotcha. Um, and I, I one day I was at work, and I was everybody, you know, all the guys at work and stuff. We were salesmen, so we had time, and we were talking about football games, football this, football that. I'm like, I always liked the Niners. Honey, I called my wife. Honey, we're 49er fans. She said, well, at least it's not the Raiders. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> I was close to being a Raiders fan. Your stadium looks like a toilet bowl. <laughs> right. <laughs> nope, I've been a Niners fan all, all my life, pretty much. Right on. But just, ever since I got to see Jerry Rice play on TV, I'm like, done. Right, and Montana yeah. and all those. It's just the, 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 we have one minute left. There's a chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, we became 49er fans when uh, Alex Smith was getting jerked around. Oh, Five yeah, different offensive got... coordinators. Tangent.
five different offensive coordinators in four seasons, you're like, what are you doing? You, you can't do nothing with that. And they just won't leave the management alone. I haven't watched a, a 49er game. I'm a, I'm a fan. I like when they win, but I haven't watched a, a game. Three years. Three years? It just was like, why? Right. But also, I, I had stuff going on Sundays. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. And, and now I still do. But ah. <laughs> how are they doing? No, they're great. Right? I mean, we almost got the Super Bowl last year. But you didn't. A- <laughs> wow. Oh, that's because he's an Eagles, an Eagles fan. fan. <laughs> so. Sorry. He's holding the room six mug. It's his time now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I just wanted to be clear. He didn't. No, we just got dealt a bad hand. That sucks. You're from New but... York. What are you doing repping the Eagles? Uh, Because I, I'm a contrarian, and I hated all the home teams where I was from. I mean, to be mm. fair. To be fair. All right. Sense, right? <laughs> One more question for you. Sure. Any thoughts of Shout of the Moon doing a guest spot on your girlfriend's podcast? My girlfriend's got podcast. Yeah. Uh, well, when All she gets it back, books uh, and beauty and booze. Yeah, <laughs> once the she gets it back up, which includes his wife. Oh, so bravo! I know yeah. you now. These two were in a band a while ago. In a several while before bands. that, and, and <laughs> several bands. But um, I often thought a nice mashup of Shatter the Moon and Stereo Glass mm-hmm. would be called Shatter, like Shatter, Shatter the, the glass. glass or. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 there, there you go. It's not a bad name, actually. All right, so cool. Um, Stereo the moon. Or... Bef- bef- before I start poking into his memories and uh, you know, and talking luck. about you know actual music Stereo. stuff. <laughs> yes. Before before we start getting into actual music stuff, um, we're gonna take a quick message here. I'm gonna do a little. Uh... Did you spill? I did. I did. <laughs> you can't take it's him like, anywhere. Man, did you just piddle on the counter? Thank you. <laughs> Dress him up, take him out, still embarrassed. Absolutely. Yep. Before we get into that, uh, we're going to take a quick little break here, a little booze break, and we're going to hear a quick message from future Josh. Booze break. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. It's baseball season, and you know what that means. Time to hit the old diamond and grab some grub. But going to a game gets expensive quick, right? Well, good news. Select a Ticket is here to save you some dough. Select a Ticket has the best seats and best prices available for any event, including concerts, Broadway shows, and of course, sporting events. Experience the difference with SelectedTicket.com's all-in pricing with no added fees at checkout and no delivery fees. That means the price you see is the price you pay. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off every purchase over $100 on merchandise and tickets to your next MLB game. Just enter coupon code MLB10 at checkout. Thanks to Selected Ticket for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back! Thanks, Wayne. (laughs) No problem, Garth. Party on! So... If that sponsor spot interested you at all, and you want to help the channel, by all means, please click the link down in the description. You'll get something. I'll get something. Everybody wins. Um, Back to you guys. Back to Jax. Ever see the producers? Listen, you broken down old queen. He was drunk. He was hot. You got lucky. Don't ever call here again. Who was that? Wrong number. (sighs) No. I don't watch a lot of movies. Oh, man. Especially musicals. Uh, I do like it. Nathan music. Lane. Pass. Matthew Broderick. Lots of gay men. <laughs> Sounds right on my alley. Yeah, I was going to say, why are you I picking know. him for that? No. <laughs> He's, he is a happy hetero, generally, right? Okay. Married to a woman. <laughs> Me? You. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Most of the time. Front man. Anyway. Correct. <laughs> Good job. I got it right? You got it right yes. this time. I'm proud of you. I got you get to sleep See, it in says the... I got it right. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my gold star? Is that Hebrew? Right. <laughs> so you married a Slytherin? I sure did. What's your She's house? She's awesome. What's your house? My, I'm a Gryffindor. Hey, Gryffindor. Yeah. Look at what you're wearing. Of course you're a Gryffindor. Yeah. You got the color scheme. Reluctantly. <laughs> I'm married to a Ravenclaw, and, oh. and my kid is a Ravenclaw, and it it's it's ridiculously... It's ridiculous how accurate that stupid test is. You think so? A lot of like my my wife and kid carbon copy sometimes. Yeah. And and but yeah, the Ravenclaw. Um, that being said, fuck you, J.K. Rowling. <laughs> are we talking? I'm about, a Jedi. Whoa. Are we talking about Guardians of the Rings? What are we talking about? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, 
I read. I like that book. Yes. <laughs> it was no. It was an audio tape. Oh, that's what so. I, yeah, I don't need. So. All right. Before I get into my last personal Thank question God. for you, okay. Let's talk actual music stuff. Music stuff. Oh, we don't okay. know anything about that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, <laughs> now, I play the kazoo. The last time they were here, I asked them, "What are your what's your earliest musical influence?" I asked, "You know, what would you say to little you, mm. or you know, new musicians starting out?" Um, I wanted this time. Let's let's start a fight. Ooh. Now that you've been Shadow of the Moon for a while, because I think when you were here last time, you were fairly new. Yes. As a as Shadow of the Moon, not new musicians. Yes, exactly. Can I stretch first? Yes. No. Okay. No? No. Stretch that sphincter. All right. So I want to start. What I'm what I really going to ask is, now that you've been doing this for a while, not just in Vegas, but you, you've gone on tour, traveled a bit, if you could change one thing about the Vegas local music scene, what would it be? Hmm. Bands supporting other, other bands, bands at yes. shows. As in, at stick shows. around. Yeah, it's not no, no. a competition. It's not a competition. <laughs> We're all trying to make it. Get help up there. Other. Let's help each other out, man. Yep. I will say, I you generally, if I, if I got a punk show, love. The audience stays for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just having a, like, the opening band is moshing in the pit kind of thing. I remember, um, you know Crimson Riot? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, that's right. You've done shows with them. Yeah. Right. Love them. Yeah. They've been on the channel. Longest, still the longest video. Two and a half hours. Oh, my wow. God. You guys must have went for it. The yeah. four yeah. of us. The, this was when her dad was drumming. Ah, uh, yeah. The yeah. four of us emptied a bottle of Jameson in shots. Ooh. That sounds about You right. want to talk about <laughs> just embarrassed to look at your footage the next day? <laughs> oh, God. I would have never put that out. Nope. <laughs> they, they only performed like two songs. So that was like all interview. That was back when I had I had like index cards and I would just sit there and ask every, I want all the content. And they just, we loved it. Mm. But the reason I say that is every single time I've ever seen Crimson Riot, Roxy Gunn, as soon as, whether they're, they're, they're done playing or they're not playing yet, will be right up front, just dancing and, and, and having a good time and, and totally enjoying the experience. Yeah. Is that where you got that idea? I didn't know she did that. I well, I was, lead, I was leading to that because <laughs> when I met this guy, I think it was at the space I saw you guys the first that time. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 I look over and there's this guy just on the barricade, <laughs> the whole moshing thing. the hair. And the whole I'm like, he looks familiar. <laughs> and then they go up and play. I was like, the oh. dude, and I've seen him. I've seen him since. Same thing. Always right up front. Always having a good time. Yep. Next so. day is Batman Nick. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's like, Turn like this. can I get some <laughs> coffee? Like, <laughs> yes. Let's look up in the sky. It's justice. <laughs> is it justice? Justice. That has, it's justice. We, we do appreciate when people do that. Our last show, which was on Sunday. We played in Hunter's Briefcase. The guys from Hunter's Briefcase yeah. were up front Thanks dancing. Thanks a lot, you guys. Oh, yes. You should get them on the show if you haven't. Yeah. But, uh... They were up front doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. We did. He, he gave up for them. I was. I made it in time for the last song. But we try to always do that. Right. Like, yeah. Try to get people to come up because it's more fun for the band. To it's like, more fun for the crowd. It's more <laughs> right. fun for everybody. <laughs> well, Just, you know, like when I'm at a show, I've got my camera. I'm getting the photos, getting the videos, and I, I have. I, I'm up front already, mm-hmm. and so a lot of times I'll get what I need, and I'll per- like they'll do that. There's something that shows. Crowds just kind of like make this little the you the, the you, you yeah. and nobody's there and it's the lights yeah if it was and, dark it might not be so and I'll just right. stand like I, I've reached the point now where I'm like no I'm gonna be the guy you, yeah. Like, yeah yeah especially if I know what know know the band and know their music right so yeah. I can like sing along or scream along <laughs> um and and do that so that's your pet peeve well I just wish more people yeah. would do it do it yeah it's, it's not hard oh go ahead no. oh well right now. I'm on board with him. Uh, you, you have anything else you'd like to see change in the local scene? Off the top of my head, no. That's literally what it is. I mean, just more support. Like, it's not a competition. Everyone's always like, my music better than your music. And it's not a competition. Like, we should be, like, bringing each other up. Right. Like, literally. That being said, you should also hold each other accountable when you're being, what's the word I'm looking for? You'll find it. You'll find it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I just made that up. Uh, is that French? We. Oui. <laughs> oui. <laughs> oui. How about you? Uh, I would like to see like bands, members, like at shows, but even outside of that, mm-hmm. hang out more. Like create a um, 
like a community yeah. of musicians that actually like hang out together. Or like a band hang night or something. Yeah. Let's go bowling I'm or something. I'm always thinking about stuff like that and especially in different genres. But even like at shows, there's so many times you experience it where like nobody yeah. will talk to each other. Like we're pretty friendly, so we don't care, yeah. but like a lot of people aren't. It's weird. <laughs> but now, even like yeah. you make friends with people, let's go, let's all hang out together. Part of, jam, part like of my job. Here. Yeah. Part of my job is trying to talk to acts, say, hey, would you like an interview? I can, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll be, I'll be doing a review. I'll send you the photo, that kind of thing. And I've learned that unless I already know them, wait till they're done performing, because then they'll be in schmooze mode. They'll be in. Like they're, it's over. The hard part's done. Yeah. yeah that's now true. they can just. Come I've, out I've and man, more than once I've approached somebody who really was like, like, not right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you feel like the guy who's who's trying to like ambush him with an interview right then. Nard war. But <laughs> you know. Uh, so, you ready for your last question, sir? Hit me. For just little old you. Just for me. You still stand for Blink One Eighty Two? Oh. <laughs> man, that's a tough one. You got the tattoo. I do. Uh, do I still stand for Blink-182? He was right! Yeah. He was right about the aliens! I knew that, Apparently. I knew that all along. I, I feel like after after self-titled, I, I don't know, the music changed. I mean, that's kind of the point, the nature of being a songwriter, though, is you can't just put out the same thing you feel dead inside. It changed <coughs> in, a, in a different way than that. Uh, yeah, well, that's a different way. Like the feel of it changed, and not saying it was bad. I still got neighbors. How does it make you feel? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what does it feel like? What <laughs> does it feel? I've always enjoyed like? Travis Barker more than Blink One Eighty Two. Does really? that make, make any sense? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You Although, know, have you heard any of his other shit? I know he was in like multiple other like every so often he'll pop up in a project. And he just randomly like he's in all for some rapper rapper because he like can. <laughs> I like because course, yeah. Transplants. He's really they did that good. And and like song. I was, surp- <laughs> I, you know, and looking at Travis Barker, I, I've always been surprised that you didn't see Tommy Lee from Motley Crue just randomly pop up in various projects and things. Right. It was a different time though. Like now, everybody does it. It's a big thing in the music right. industry. To, Super like, groups to, like, and things like that. Yeah, to like mix. It's all about like everything's about a collaboration of some sorts. Yep. And something just to... cool. Well, I. Pretty much out of questions. Did you have any questions for me or for you know each other? Or... What, what are your influences? I don't think we ever asked you that. Like, what's like your? It's opinion? been almost five years since yeah, I started doing this. Doing no this? one's ever asked me this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Absolutely, Kane. yes. My influences. I did got Kane. Anyway, um, <laughs> my influences have changed over the years because okay. you get older and you you write some music and then you realize eh, it's not really you know who I am or what I want to sound like anymore. Right. Growing up, the influences were because of the family, you know. But I, the question I always ask, the first question I generally ask is, what was that first moment you remember saying, I want to do that? Mm. And for me, it came late. I'm not one, like, I, I studied dance as a child. So for me, music was just a vehicle for, like, this, this is what I danced to. But to actually make music, it wasn't until I went to college and had an acoustic guitar and started writing songs about this girl and blah, blah, blah. You and wanted to get laid. Well, no, I, I, yeah. I, I, I missed her. I get it, It man. was long distance. Uh. But anyway, um, MTV and VH1 still showed music videos. MTV had yeah, their... You are old. Yes. Yeah. Super. <laughs> and it was the 90s. It was the 90s. It was the 90s, man. In the 1900s. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. So, honestly, my influence, the, the first moment I was like, I can do that. Or, or I want to do that was it's it's Hossa Eddie Vedder okay. or Pearl Jam in general but right. Eddie Vedder specifically Black that song Black oh, okay because it was acoustic mm-hmm. I had an acoustic yeah but also like I grew up listening to Kenny Rogers Crystal Gale um, mm-hmm. it, you know like like back when country and western <laughs> what <well>, like <laughs> told still called told western? stories it wasn't just either propaganda or um, you know, like let add for Applebee's. Yeah, or or you know, she she <laughs> left me. Um, add for Applebee's. Yeah. Yeah. I'm to Southern Rem- emo. off camera. Remind me to tell you a story. Anyway, um, I, I'm going to say Kenny Rogers was the like a huge influence in the way that I crafted songs, mm. or just that whole genre at that time. Telling stories, you mean? Or yeah, but 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 honestly, um, 
the way Eddie Vedder wrote lyrics. Like I, I, I was an alternative songwriter. I was the whole my my song title's not going to be anywhere in the lyrics. I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be just like I'm gonna write about the things that I feel and blah blah blah, and not worry, not not focus on trying to tell a coherent story necessarily. Right, yeah. um, yeah, Eddie Man- Vedder was like the mumble rap of the uh-huh. '90s. Yeah, <laughs> and him, then- him and um, Chili Peppers, um, Anthony Kiedis. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of problematic, <laughs> anyway, um, and then as time goes by, I'm, I'm like I, I was a singer in a band. Hmm. Suddenly, I find myself thinking, you know, I want to be the, I, I, I want to be, I want to be the very best. Right. Anyway, I want to do a three he piece. Knows the rest of that song for uh, sure. It, <laughs> I, I want to do it. We don't have the time. Yeah, we, we, I want to, I want to do a three piece where I'm the front man, so guitar and singing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and which means I got to figure out how to solo, and I got to figure out like blah blah blah, and it's, it evolved into an indie rock thing called the Suspense. Still like that title. Okay. It was all yeah, about cool. it was all about that moment in a song, that pregnant pause where right before the wave crashes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. You one. can use I, that. It's, I just got the website. You can't have you, it. Uh, good luck because I <laughs> no I, I stopped being on a long time ago. But, redacted. Redacted. <laughs> but I always like purposely wrote songs that whole moment of just there's the distortion pedal. Boom! Uh, okay, you know, gotcha. I love that. Ow, oh, that hurt. And um, <laughs> like creep. Yeah, but also just like rock and roll. But honestly, <laughs> like Foo Fighters. Oh, okay. You think Foo Fighters? You think you know loud guitars, um, those moments, and also, hey, maybe it's going to start really mellow, and by the end of it, it's kicking your ass. Right. You know, or maybe it's going to be all kicking your ass, like White Limo. So mm-hmm. my my influenced my influence was. Suddenly, Dave Grohl, okay. and the way he was writing songs, and Foo Fighters in general. Right. I've got a picture that there's a vein popping on my neck. I didn't know I could do that. And I was singing a ballad at the time, oh, wow. <laughs> and nice. that was like, I look like Dave Grohl. Um, I even had a, a little little donut goatee, oh, okay. like he did. Gotcha. So, um, to answer your question, it's it's changed, but I'm and, and it it by by dint of just the constant influence. Of reviewing everybody's music, mm. like now, you know, I thought, oh, I, I, I hear something, I'm like, oh, I wish I'd written that, right? And yeah. it just worms its way in. I haven't written an original music in <sighs> way too damn long. Neither have we. Yeah, yeah, I was telling them off camera. I'm finally coming out of a, <laughs> of, a of a bit of a of a uh, what I say drought. No, the opposite. Oh. Over overindulgence in chocolate. No. Uh, Way too much editing work. Oh, uh, yes, okay. and and I'm starting. To, the itch is getting in there. Like, hey, go make make some music, even if it's just play some covers. Yeah, touch your instruments again. And I know, I know, I go blind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, thank you. There, very. That, that was a nice course, little trip down yeah. memory lane for me. It's always good to like like actually talk about like musical in, uh, influences. Like in, for me, like. I've already kind of talked about my influences, like, musically, but, like, performance-wise. Like, it's actually kind of like... Uh, I didn't get that until later, like, until I saw Killswitch and Gage play live. Mm. And their guitarist, uh, Adam... Because before, like, I would, I was never, like, nervous on stage, but I always, like, stayed in this little box. Like, every, every time, and I'm like... And I'd watch videos of us play back when I was in, like, earlier bands, and I'm like... Like this looks boring. Like, like there's not a whole lot of energy there. And I watch Killswitch play, and their guitarist, Adam D., nuts like it's hilarious yeah. like mind you I didn't take his attire because he wore like Daisy Dukes and like a muscle shirt <laughs> and, yes! a king hat. and a cape and he would run and just use it and be playing it's, right it looks so fun have yeah, fun be, with it yeah he'd be yeah. doing circles I'm like I want to do that I'm like, and I'll tell so you something having tried to photograph this man <laughs> on stage it is almost impossible unless he's uh, singing backup those are the moments i, yep, I, I like, learned like, like as soon as he steps up to the mic get your shot because yeah. he's gone yep and that's where i got it from like i literally yeah. got it all from whereas that. this guy is, is like I, I, i'm straight up and down i'm bent up because like, this the whole time oh. head bang <laughs> oh trust me if he didn't have to sing well cool. you we, we would be blurs the whole time <laughs> oh yeah most of the shots <laughs> um there's there's two things that drive photographers crazy and i'm not calling myself a photographer like <laughs> professional at all i do my best with what i got go buy merch room yeah. six dot shop anyway merch. um red lights like red lighting Ooh. 
just instantly makes everything weird and pixelated and overexposed. And the, there's little you can do if it's if it's way too bright. Like if you catch the wrong moment where it's all red light, uh, there's little you can do in post. Mm. Like really, mm. and and so that's why a lot of times when if you see like um, bands will say we want all red light. Madzilla did that once at Triple B, and immediately I was like, "Well, there goes the shots I was going to get of you." Right. <laughs> That's when the flashes start happening. Mm. That's when you see the flashes because oh, okay. they're fighting the red light. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And okay. so, uh, and the other thing is when they won't stand still for a nanosecond. So you know, sorry, sorry. No, don't. <laughs> I don't. Ha- I can't afford the gear that would capture you, like right. like like the, the kind of cameras that they shoot. Games, football games, with, uh, you know, gotcha, where yeah. it's crystal clear and you know yeah, he's running like, like twelve like, miles an hour, full spread, doing yeah. runs of four four, and like catching a pass, and like yeah, <laughs> or, or or it's a still from a video, and you and it's still crystal clear, and right? Jealous. Yeah, I'm so jealous. I'm bitter and jealous. <laughs> All right, um, that's it. Thank you very much. Stick around. We're gonna see. We never even talked about the music video. No, oh no. Sorry, never. they got a music video that's blowing up on uh, YouTube, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Teach the children's. What is it? So it's for our new single called Something to Say. Sorry, I almost messed that up myself. You sure? We have working titles and it's very confusing a lot of the time. Yes. But, Song uh, number four. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So uh, new single's out. Video's out for it. It's taken off, so you should check it out as well. Something to Say. It's a great rocking song. Apparently highly influenced from the early 2000s. That's what people keep telling us. Early so, 2000s what? Like new they, metal? Or? They haven't said. Yeah, yeah they're trying to find s- out. There was one comment that said, "You sound like a band that I can't remember from the early 2000s. <laughs> like, I'm like, cool. Well, that's, damn it, that's close. <laughs> on the on the other hand, you can't possibly like not live up to that. <laughs> hey, man, true. <laughs> early I mean, 2000s is a good right time on. for rock music. All right, so um, at the time by the, by the time this comes out, it'll like I said, it'll be like late September, or October. Mm-hmm. Um, what's any, anything big coming on the horizon that you know about? Third chapter will be coming out six months or so, four months, something like that. Mm-hmm. We're doing three groups of uh, EPs to tell the story we'll be of the guy nice. to start the whole nice. process. We need to get the message out to the people. Very, right. very Coheed and Cambria of you. That's tell very much. Story. That's a lot where our name came from. Highly influenced by so Coheed Claudia. and Cambria. <laughs> I'd love to go on tour with you guys. Please feel free to ask. So, stick around though. We're going to see a music video for something to say mm-hmm. after this. And then we'll see you in the outro. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being on the channel, gentlemen. Go get our album anywhere you can pick up music. It's all there. Yes. Or just go to shadowthemoonband.com. Daily, daily. In the meantime, meantime, we'll see you in the outro. Temporarily say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Thanks, Shout of the Moon, for coming back on. It was a great interview and a great music video. If you want to know more about them, click the links down in the description. If you want to get your own copy of Entity or something to say, there's a purchase link down there for Entity. And uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click over there and don't forget to ring the bell. If you want to hear my own music, which is not nearly as good as theirs, click uh, next to that guy over there. Remember to be amazing. Question everything. And we'll see... Yes. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Bye! Bye! Ba-da-ba-ba-da-bum. Yeah!